Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video just to see what it is that I carry out here to the jetties. A lot of y'all have asked and well, what a better time than ever to do this video. So, taking a look at the jetty wagon, you can see what it is that I come out here with. This right here is a milk crate and I've got four pieces of PVC fluted at the end. You heat it up and it, you flute it and then bam, we're able to carry four rods out here. I normally carry my Shimano Stella. That is a 4000 series spinning reel on an eight foot, two inch custom fishing rod right there. And the test pound that I'm using is 30 pound gray from power pro and then i'll throw on a 50 pound liter right there suffix mono and uh, also got a secondary rod usually for throwing spoons something of the sort um, whenever i'm fishing live shrimp i bring along this tackle tray right there and that's got some slip corks uh, treble hooks beads everything that i use to fish a uh, slip cork and I also got some one ounce two ounce quarter ounce half ounce spoons all silver and those usually will get you some trout Spanish mackerel and some jacks if the jacks are running I also carry a hog trough that is for measuring the trout and all the other game fish that we catch over here for the YouTube side of things I've got a tripod for the telephoto zoom lens I also carry another tackle tray. This has got some paddle tails and a few other small baits that I use out here if the bite is super slow and they're not wanting to take the live shrimp. Back here, I hang all the used lures up so that they don't get tangled up inside. And I let them dry right here. And whenever we come back out and if I need a spoon, well, guess what? This guy is gonna be used. So you got all the used lures there. I carry this bucket right here that is to be able to go out there grab clean water and then transfer it over into the shrimp so my shrimp bucket this is nothing more than i call it the yeti sorry i'm going all over the place but i call this thing the yeti uh, it's nothing more than an igloo and look at that it's insulated so it tries to regulate their temperature and I drilled a quarter inch hole through there all the way through the other side and then it goes right here to the hush bubbles you got quiet bubbles and you have hush bubbles hush bubbles are quieter than the quiet bubbles so the internet says and the internet doesn't lie and then over here we've got the boga grip we also have my camera bag this is a waterproof bag so that if it's raining, if the water is coming over, if, God forbid, the cart gets blown over into the bay side, not the bay side, the uh, beach side of the jetty, then that's going to float. And all my expensive stuff in it, I'm going to be able to retrieve because I'll tell you what, I will jump in that water to go get it. We also now, check it out, a lot of y'all told me, hey, get a net, get a net. I bought a net. And we haven't had no need for the net as of recent. Uh, every jetty chip that chip, every jetty trip that we've uh, done coming out since I bought this thing, they have been horrible, very slow. So we got the net, and then last but not least, I got an actual Yeti gallon jug that's going to carry all the water. We're out of water right now, so we're about to pack it up and head on in. Just thought I'd show you all what it is that is inside this little jetty wagon. And that's it. You can get these at Academy if they still sell them. That's where Nick purchased this one. And uh, it's got inflatable tires. Yeah, see there it is right there, Academy. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed the quick video. If anything, it'll give you an idea of how to set up a wagon based off of what it is that you like to bring out and the way you like to fish. All right, if you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you wanna see more content, click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ring that notification bell so that you'll know whenever I drop other videos. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.